Hey there everyone, I'm Palky Fanoid, and welcome back to more Button Kaito's Eternal Wings and the Lost Ocean. Last time we finished off Misuri's side quest, which means I never, ever, 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 except for once more, ever need to enter the Sospa Tower again. Happy party time! Oh, uh, yeah. As I said, once more. Yeah. But that's just a little visit. And today, we are gonna, of course, continue on with the personal side quests. But, uh, who's next? Well, I've been thinking, and, uh, Shella have gotten a lot of screen time lately. So, how about we start doing Savina's side quest? It, which is another one that I actually really, really like. Because we actually get a lot. And I mean a lot of backstory for Savina. Which, uh, we haven't really gotten up till now. Savina is usually the very quiet character. So, let's move on to Alfard. And finally, this map screen fading thing will, sh will actually look okay again. I fixed it, I hope, I think. At least it looked fine for me. No clue what happened, but at least now it should look okay. <laughs> I so didn't want to actually upload that when the video looked like that, but I got... Oh, I, I worked like three days trying to fix it, and nothing worked. So I just decided, okay, you know what, screw this. I'm gonna render in a different format. So my videos are now in MP4. So they are bigger, and they take a lot more space, and they take a lot longer to upload. Woohoo, that really helps on my internet that already takes... It already takes around 5 hours to upload a 20 minute video. <laughs> anyway, so, after you've gotten the, uh, well, the heads up of everything happening in the world from Catherine, this little area right here appears on the Alfard map, which is the Nihal Desert. The, the desert, yes, yes. Which looks... yeah, it looks, uh, deserty, I guess. Hey, look! Lady Death! She's back! This is so exciting! We're walking! <laughs> Savina? Astar! Hi! You're safe. We made it in time. Boy, am I glad to see you. We could really use your help here. As I said before, I actually really, really like Astar because he looks badass. And as you'll see a little bit later, he is badass too. So far, we've managed to avoid any serious confrontations with the monsters. But there's a nest of ghouls ahead that we weren't able to get through. And ghosts? <gasps> With your help, we should be able to fight our way through it and reach the other side safely. Okay. Understood. But why didn't you guys just leave to save your own hides? The Azani villagers must be making things difficult. Yeah. <clears throat> that sounds funny. Why are you helping the ones you once helped to slaughter? Yeah, you're the one to talk, Sabina. Can't say for sure. Back then, we were on a mission. As the world got caught up in this mess, I felt the least we could do was save what lives we can. I guess that's what I figured. No, that's that's actually very nice of you, Astar. I'm not so sure myself. Some of my men have deserted to save their own necks. Of course, cowards. I guess that's somewhat understandable. At any rate. What brought you here? It was a witch. A fat bird witch. She still freaks me out just thinking about her. <laughs> you changed her. Well, let's get some rest and set off first thing tomorrow. Okie dokie. Alright. I'm glad all of you came too. Welcome to our little hell. 
I really appreciate the help. Oh, I feel so welcome. <laughs> welcome to our personal little hell. Hey, wait a minute, what? Oh crap, it's her. Get out of our village, you murderer! Wow, that's a long time ago now. <laughs> We already had two treasure chests in this video actually just taunting me. I can't get them yet. <laughs> hmm. It's so strange. Being near Aza, the village where this whole mess started. Being with the villagers. Even being allied with them. I never saw this day coming. I don't think any of us did actually. I'd say life goes that way for everyone, more or less. Yeah, I agree. Not knowing what lies ahead is half the fun, right? <laughs> that is actually very, very true, yeah. Maybe so. Two years ago, after Operation Sweep, I took part in another mission. Our target was Amira. His name was Geor. Oh, crap. But all I could do was stand and watch as Giacomo and the others tore his place up. I just watched and waited outside. Yeah, we saw that in the flashback Alice said that Savino was just standing there and saying, they won't last long. When it comes to fighting, I have no trouble getting the job done without any fear or remorse. That part of me will never change. But from that point on, I knew I could never harm the innocent. The defenseless. Yeah. Oh, damn you, May Lady. <laughs> Sorry about that. When I realized that, I turned my back on everything I had and ran. Callus, I was there that night as an Imperial soldier. I was one of those who killed your family. You didn't do anything, Savina. When this battle is over, there's no need to hesitate. Do what you need to do to avenge them. The only thing I was taught as a child was how to fight. How to kill. I've known Asdar since way back in those days. Some called me a killing machine, which was exactly what I was. I only knew how to kill. Nothing else. So that night, when part of me refused to fight, I had no idea what to do. All I could do was to drop everything and run away. To run as fast as I could. I already told you about what happened later, back in Anue Anue. I moved from place to place, and met one of the witches from Wazen. She told me where to find a cause, something righteous to fight for. So I waited there in Anu Anue for my battle to begin. The waiting itself wasn't so bad. Savina, you weren't just waiting for a cause, were you? You were waiting for somewhere to die. Something to die for. Weren't you? Could be. Well, never mind. It's just that I've never seen you so talkative. Indeed. <laughs> Savina, ha I think Savina said more in this scene than she had ever done all together through the whole game. And I really like this scene because of it. Savina got a very nice voice. <laughs> and. I think her I and I think her backstory is actually very very interesting. Yeah. You're right. I just felt like opening up, I guess. I think you should open up a little bit more often, Savina, because this is actually a very interesting scene. And 
I would love for more of your stories. I just needed someone to listen. <laughs> Everyone has nights like that. Nah. The party is bonding. One of the few scenes Kalos actually doesn't say anything. My unit will scout ahead and see what's out there. Savina, you and your friends should follow us at a short interval, securing the area. I've asked the villagers to wait here for now. Once we've secured an escape route, we'll come back and escort them out. Understood. Be careful, Asdar. Yeah. I don't get hurt that easily. No, oh, I know. You'll see. <laughs> totally, he is a badass. We'll teach those ghouls to fear the Mad Wolf unit. And the Mad Wolf unit sounds also very badass. It's a very nice name. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's go. I think Yamsha would fit perfectly in this unit. Don't even know why I said that. <laughs> We should be heading out too. Yeah, I guess. But before doing that, let's raid this place, shall we? Although the barrel is filled with water, giving the number of people it will run out within a few days. And we get the Centaurus constellation. Okay, thank you for that. That is very nice. Actually, I want to... What the heck did I do that for? I want to check my gathering real quick. My constellation magnus. Yeah, look at this. We are only missing one constellation magnus. And uh, we can actually get it right now. So, uh, how about we uh, raid the few little last things in this village? And we go to the church and give the Constellation Magnus to the guy. And also, class up Savina with the Dragon Plum Bud. Yes, very nice. And also, remember the guy that gave us the rewards for giving the children lava? <laughs> yeah, he opened a shop here, actually. And uh, he actually sells some pretty good stuff. Like a deluxe shish kebab. Fully heals you. Very nice. And this is also the place you want to buy the shampoo, if you didn't get it back in the beginning of the game. I don't think this is missable, but uh, remember, you need, the cha you need to wait two weeks for the shampoo to, to change. And uh, getting it this late, though, is not really that good. At least you get it. So I'm gonna buy it just because I want it. <laughs> And I also got this, a deluxe pastry. So, yeah, taking that too. <laughs> ah, yeah, go away. So, let's uh, head out of here and uh, let's uh, and uh, just say screw you to Astar and let's go to the church and class up. But before doing that, of course, we had this treasure chest up here that we couldn't get. Open it to get the Skull Beret, Sabina's piece of skull equipment. I'm just gonna check it. It's not better than the fairy, fairy beret, I know that. But it's it's really not bad. So I'm not gonna equip it, of course. So let's go and class up and let's ask the guy in the church about the final constellation Magnus. Because, well, I know I haven't used it before the uh, option of actually Asking where the constellation Magnus is, but uh, I uh, Let's just say I have no clue where the final constellation Magnus is so let's use that Yeah, as you see I can level up a lot, but I don't want to because I don't want to be over leveled <laughs> I can I think shall I could get up to level 55 right now, and I'm sorry. Oh, no 56 actually I don't want that. That's way too high <laughs> Okay, so let's give this guy the Centaurus constellation and let's ask him about the last one. Can't believe I actually just said that. The last constellation, Magnus. Wow. This should probably be a part of his own, but uh, 
Since we have time now, I'm just gonna do it. That's all we can resort for now. Thank you for your effort. Blah blah blah. Do we get something good from the second to last constellation? Uh, yeah, actually, the Dragon Claw. Very, very nice. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna check the Dragon Claw first and then talk to him again. Let's see. Yeah. 128 attack and 5% chance of death. Actually, very nice. And I'm also actually gonna give uh, Serena Cosmos just because I want it. <laughs> okay, so let's. Uh... Alright. Hello. Only a single piece is left to be restored. Yeah, I know. So, do we have any info about it? Only one more fragment left. The map is close to completion. Ask for information, thank you. Excuse me, sir, do you have any information on the last piece? Let me see, information. It's not that there isn't any. Huh. I suppose you really want to finish restor restoring your star map, don't you? Well, of course, we've been doing it since the beginning of the game. We're almost at 100 episodes. We can't stop now. This is not bad country, but we can't stop now. <laughs> yeah. So do I. Sir, we come this far. What's the holdup? Yeah, what's the holdup, Dak? Uh, well, I merely stood here waiting while you and your companions searched the world over for the fragments. I'm not sure if I'm qualified to restore the star map. I, I suppose other things are troubling me as well. Now that it's almost over, I have many doubts. Qualified? Doubts? Stop bullshitting around and just tell us. <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. Of course you deserve it. Come on. Yeah, you do deserve it. Thanks to your enthusiasm and knowledge, we almost completely restored it. Are you just gonna throw all that effort away? <sighs> well, perhaps you're right. Very well. I made up my mind. I'll hand it over to you. Wait, what? And we get the Cetus constellation. Of course, that must be the final one. Once again, if you don't know, Cetus is the whale. Yeah, which the star button Kytos is a part of. <laughs> I already gone over that, but that's quite some time ago. The this is the last fragment. Why have you been hiding it all this time? I just couldn't bring myself to complete the star map. I'm terribly sorry for my behavior. Yet your words dispelled all my doubts and allowed me to make up my mind. We have we have no right to pretend the star map never existed. Not again. Never again. My apologies. Huh. Well, okay. So let's just ignore it and run! No, of course not. <laughs> let's finish this once and for all. Let us restore the final constellation. Hand it over. Okay, let's begin. Can't wait to see how it looks. Shimmering light, come forth. Let the star map shine once again in its brilliant glory. And of course, it's smack in the middle. And we, st we restore the constellation, Cetus. I'm speechless. The star map is truly a breathtaking sight. Yeah, I agree. Whoever, whoever made this must have been pretty special. Huh. Oh yeah. 50 years ago, this star map was created by a lone Magnus architect. Yet, he who gave birth to it also became its undoing. He destroyed his own masterpiece. He made the star map and then destroyed it? Yes, this was a long time ago. The Magnus engineer achieved great fame and even celebrity st status through his creation. The star map above you. However, his fame eventually became nothing more than a heavy weight that bore down upon him. No matter what new works he created, they could never surpass his masterpiece. Wow. 
poor guy. But I do get it. People expected him to come up with something even better. Eventually, he could no longer bear it. Expectations he could not meet drowned him in his own sense of failure. His despair eventually drove him to shatter the star map. He broke the map into pieces so that it could never be made whole again. Well, it is now. <sighs> but as time passed, and he grew old, I am sure that he came to regret his destructive acts. Whisperers, whispers of regrets every time he gazed upon the night sky. He no longer had a legacy, nothing at all. Wow. That's uh... That's deep. <laughs> it's quite an old story. The star map has finally been restored to its original glory. He would have been pleased. Yeah, I, th I think so too. I am deeply in debt to you, young, ma young traveler. Please, take this. It is the very last Magnus the engineer created. I'm sure he would have wanted you to have it as well. And we get the Fool. Well, that's a special name of, of a Magnus. We should probably check it out. Callus, thank you. Thank you for everything. May the stars guide you wherever you may go. My blessings are with you. Thank you. <laughs> you have completed the star map. Wow. So let's uh, let's check out the fool, shall we? Wait. Where did the fool go? Strength? What? Yeah. This is the uh, the tarot card, Magnus, and it will change like every ten seconds or so. When I go out here again, and back in, it probably changed again. Uh, or maybe not. Just give it a little time. And uh, now it should change. <laughs> yep, now it's the Hermit. And uh, because of it, it being pretty unstable, it's pretty fun to have in your deck, but also you... It will never be helpful when you actually need it, I guess. It can be one of the best healing items in the game, it can be instant death, it can be pretty much everything. <laughs> but anyway, I think that is enough for now. This episode already been a little bit longer than I originally planned, but... I, th I think it was a little bit worth it. The story was actually very interesting. <laughs> so next time we are going into the Nihal Desert to uh, follow... Astar and yeah, whatever we do out there, we'll we'll see. <laughs> Secure a passage, I guess it's our job. So I thank you all for watching, and I see you all then.